Hello, my name is Hello. <laughs> Hello, my name is Lourdes Colon, um, and I am an actress, also producing a documentary. So I went to this acting class, and then I was going to do this read with this kid, and it was going to be his last read for for acting. He goes, "Let's go across the street and and take a shot." Well, I didn't drink, so I said, "Well, you go ahead, but I, you know, I'll go with you, but I'm not going to drink." And at this place, and this is the reason why I'm telling you is, Cuba Gooding Jr. was there. And um, he was talking with some people, but I was behind him. And every so often, he stepped back and stepped on my foot. And then he said in one instance, you know, he apologized each time. And then he said, let me get you a drink. And I was like, oh, I don't drink. You know, but I didn't want to tell him that. I didn't want him to think, oh, she's so, you know, I'm a prude, which I'm not. Absolutely not. But it just, I just didn't drink at the time. And so um, I let him give me the drink. And now I was toasty. And I thought, how am I going to perform in my class when I'm really toasty? Like I was like, I've never performed drunk. <laughs> so you know, I was like, uh, I don't think we can do this. And my scene partner's like, please, it's like, today's my last day. And Cuba's like, wait, you got a class? I got, like, yeah, right there. He's like, come on, I'll go with you guys. So I'm like, really? And he's like, yeah. So we walk into my class and it's hilarious as we walk in, everybody looks and here I'm walking in with Cuba getting junior. And um, I went over there and I'm like, with my alcohol breath, I go in and tell the teacher, can we go first? So we can, and she laughed and said, like, yeah, I'm sure like, she was like, woo. We went in there, I did the performance and we left. And then he, and then Cuba was the one that said, cause I had told him I was gonna be leaving cause it, I just wasn't, it wasn't clicking with me. And I said, I'm just gonna act out in Chicago. And he said, I saw your performance. He said, and I gotta tell you, he said, you're great. Stick it out, you can make it. And I'm like, really? And he's like, yeah, give it a shot. He said, don't leave. He said, I wouldn't say it if I didn't think you were talented. He said, you are. The documentary came out to be because I had wanted to be an inspiration to the world for a very long time. And I, at the time, had lost a lot of um, close friends and family to cancer. And I really realized how many people in the world are so impacted with cancer. Either they've had it, or their family member had it, or their friend, or somebody had it, and they lost somebody. Someone has lost something. There's just, there's nowhere you didn't. I had a feeling, to be honest, I did have a feeling that I had cancer, but I had denial where it's like, no, everybody feels like it's the worst, it's gotta be the worst thing, you know? And it's gonna be that, I just think it's the worst thing, but it's not gonna be. I'm gonna go in there and they're gonna say, oh, it's nothing. And then I went in there and it was something. And so um, when she told me I had cancer, the first thing I thought was I'm not gonna do the, conventional treatment. I'm going to do it naturally. I want to document all of it, no matter where it goes. Um, and I want to be able to do it in such a positive way, what really inspires people. There's a website where you can actually see all the information about the documentary um, that we're completing. It's called create option C, the letter C, the documentary.com. And on there, it actually even shows you where you can donate if you'd like to donate to for the completion, it gives you the information, it even has a trailer uh, on the uh, documentary that you will see.